This is how you, you build a wall from broken bricks. Yeah, this is uh, the broken bricks. Hello. Okay, you get rubble, and then what you do is you clean up the rubble. I'll show you how it's done by getting this hammer and uh, a bolster here. You hit it at an angle, okay? So if you hit it like this at an angle, like so, okay? Show you how you get, reclaim it, see? So, so long. okay, it's easy as that, okay? Nice and clean edges. Like so. You got another three quarters, okay? Cleaned up. <coughs> Nehemiah, in the Bible, he had to build the walls. And um, when he built the walls of Jerusalem, the gates were burned with fire. And for 70 years they'd been um, in captivity. And the king, Darius, noticed he was sad in his face. And he said, why are you sad for? And he said, oh, he said, because, you know, Jerusalem's been destroyed and the temples and, and rebuilt, but the walls, you know, still down. Ezra, you see, was in charge of the temple. It got rebuilt, but the walls, there was nothing there. And they were boasting, see, the pagans around him. If a fox ran upon it, they'd break it down. And there's many such walls in the Bible we're told about. And uh, the particular wall we're talking about with Ezra and Nehemiah is this, um, basically building, built the, um, the walls which had fallen down. And, um, well, sin lays at the door, doesn't it? So there's enough pagans around to destroy Need to get it plumb. There's our hold of righteousness to the plummet. And uh, there you go. That's all right, but there you get in there. Okay. Uh, oh, righteousness to the plummet. Line upon line, your little, your little precept upon precept. The hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies. Uh, there we go. This is how to build a wall. And then. Um, Jesus broke down all the walls, partition walls. It says the, uh, the curtain was rent in two. The curtain of division. We build walls and then we destroy walls. Of course, there's a wall in Jerusalem now, and it's to protect the Israelis from terrorists. You just have to stay there. As simple as that. We were blowing them all up and committing suicide. And blowing them all up. Children and everything we've been using. Terrible. Can't have that. democracy in the Middle East, or in Israel there to this day. But their blinded eyes will be open soon. And they shall see that Jesus is the Messiah. I thought it would be strange in a Jewish study Bible because 
you're actually taking out references to Jesus when it says um, Psalm 22 verse 16 is missing. It says they pierce my hands and my feet. Uh, Dakaru, I think it is. Um, is it in Hebrew, is it? Or is it... Uh, well, I've got the word now. Kaharim, I think it was. No, it's Kaharim Bayaz. Uh, no, it's not, that's the other one. Kaharim um, Bayaz by the hand of Moses in Bo Moshe. Uh, the book of the law of the Lord they found. In the time of Moses. Or in the time of Josiah they found the book of the law of the Lord. That's all right. What's on about? Kaharim. That's the Hebrews. Kaharim ya blave, vera dave, or vera dave. Yeah, they took it out of the Jewish study Bible. I find that strange, it's like they're blinding themselves to what's in their Bible. And um, even the part where it says they cast lots on his vesture, verse 18, verse 16, verse 18, Psalm 22. Have a look, where was it taken out of the Jewish study Bible? Weird. That isn't strange, I don't know. They're blinding themselves. They're supposed to be keepers of the, you know, the law. They're supposed to be looking after the oracles of God, the lively oracles of God, aren't they? Accurate. What I do here now is get in this here. To see the wall along the edge, right? You, you've got to do this to finish it off. You just get this here, like that, right? And just kind of smooth it down a bit, fill in the gaps, yeah, like that. This is a Lincolnshire red, Lincolnshire wall. And, um, just give it a little wipe over. Later on, what you want to do is get a little brush and clean the bricks up a little bit. Because these are recycled bricks, you see. I used to see people smiling at the, how the brick wall going up because it always looks good when it's makes the whole area look a lot posher and better. It brings the whole standards of the whole community up. The whole area becomes worth more value if people look after their gardens and their walls. I'm building this for somebody else, of course. And that's basically how you do a wall. Right, finished for that part. Hello. Right. So we finished that part, and we're going to make this place tidy so nobody's going to trip over this. And there'll be no uneven bits on there. Here. So you've got to wash it off with water, make sure it's all cleaned up because otherwise people will be um, tripping over it and uh, uneven surfaces make people trip, so that's what we're going to do next. And, um, well, we've got to stand in the gap. Somebody's got to, oh, what does he say, not by, by might, not by power, but by my spirit. And, uh, God uh, builds his church and Jesus said I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And that's what's happening. God is building his church and um, all over the world. And he's about to come back for it soon. And we, that's where we look for the signs of the end of the world. I think the storms are out there. Storms and global warming. See in the way the Lord Jesus said at the end of the world, didn't he? And we get a flood come down this hill. And it caused problems in the past. And um, you're getting huge amounts of floods now all around the world. Wow, oh, that tsunami which came up killed all those sad quarter of a million died. And then another tsunami in Japan. 
six years later and then another huge super typhoons we're getting now. Super hurricanes, unbelievable, Hong Kong, super typhoon. You need to build walls, stronger walls. And um, we're gonna need to have better shelters for tornado things and stuff. And we have to make preparation because in the Bible it says there was massive storms. Two weeks, the one in Mediterranean lasted for the Apostle Paul. Uh, shipwrecked their boat and uh, also huge storms. They had lasting for longer than they do now. Two weeks in time. They used to have a lot of grass, it says in the Bible. Um, it tells us there was much cattle around Nineveh, which is, of course, around Mosul today. It was a desert today. So how things have changed. It's not because of our burning um, petrol and diesel too much. It's God put the oil there for a reason. Otherwise, you know, horses manure would be miles and miles of it everywhere. Um, no, it was put there for us, for the end of the world. But man is destroying the world by dropping atom bombs into the ground, testing nuclear bombs. That's what's destroying the earth and stuff, yeah? causing more tidal waves and more havoc, I think. Um, people are destroying the world. Anyway, i got to go. There's that button going. Right.